These are like the prettiest lilies I've ever seen. They're really smelly. Everyone keeps commenting. Everyone keeps commenting on how much they smell. Really? Mm -hmm. I bought them for you. You didn't tell them the video that, did you? All right. Is the lighting good enough here? I mean, don't get my stomach. I'm bulking right now. What's up, guys? Welcome to the reaction. What's up, guys? Welcome to this video. So this video was actually inspired by another YouTuber, Zach Perma. You guys may have heard of him before. I think he's actually in the suggested video feed on my channel. One of my friends from back home in Portland when I was there a couple weeks ago suggested I do this video. So thank you, Jeff. And I think it's going to be a very, very fun video. And that is bulking on a budget. So what I'm going to try to do is buy a whole week's worth of groceries of what I bulk on with $50. A whole week? A whole week with $50, which equates to $200 a month or $2,400 a year bulking. So we're going to go to the store right now and I'm going to show you guys, pretty much show you guys what I get, why I get it, and how I cook it, and the meals I'm going to make from it. So let's do it. Do you guys like my shirt? Does this match? You want me to show you? No, I'm showing him. It's nice. Does this shirt match? No, but you'll probably wear it anyway, won't you? Yeah. Let's go. You should go going forward. Um, what are you doing, buddy? Now people are staring at you. It's awkward. Only in LA. <laughs> what, this? <laughs> That's not, I'm not, not on the 50th budget. What's your first item, bread? First item is gonna be bread. We're gonna go from the far right of the store and just work our way over. So I need 21 slices of bread, which is gonna be one loaf. Now, I used to get the expensive Dave's Killer Bread, but lately I've actually been getting like the cheapest stuff, which is over here. $1.99, first oh, thing. shit, sorry. I'm zoomed in. <laughs> $1.99. You doing a calculator the whole time? Yeah, just to make sure I don't go over. So the second thing, 99.1 ground turkey, which is equivalent to chicken breast. So I need three of those to last the week, and then we're gonna do one of these. I'll explain why I'm only getting one when I get back home later today, and that equals $22.95 so far. I need 28 total, so I'm doing 18, and then 12. The 18 are 449, 12 or 299, so it brings our total to 3043 so far. <laughs> it's gonna be hard. <laughs> I already have so many eggs at, at the house, I'm just getting this just for the video. Yeah, do it. Get the egg beaters instead. No, it's like the same price. Oh, well, then what are we gonna do? Oh, that. Save like a dollar and get those. Yeah, you should. You gotta save money where you can, bro. You really want me to get these? I mean, I guess you can see what you come to, and if you need that extra dollar, you can come back. <laughs> yeah. Five. Plus 5.67. These are expensive, though. I usually get them for a little bit cheaper. You gotta get... So one of these rices, this will last me probably like almost two weeks, but I gotta do it for the video, so we're gonna do... Always do jasmine. Why don't you get brown? I hate brown rice. We're too many. Look, well, you can do <laughs> microwave for a dollar eighty-nine. I mean, we'll do brown rice. Screw it. So brown rice is a little bit cheaper today, so we're actually gonna do brown rice. I always recommend getting jasmine, white or brown. Basmati is always overpriced. You're lucky I came with you. I'm helping you budget. Yeah, I know she saved me on that. So we're pretty much we just got the veggies, potatoes, oatmeal, potatoes, and then yeah, we're doing pretty good. <sighs> These are the cheapest oats. They're $1.69 per container. What's the brand? Mom's, Mom's Best, Best Cereals. It's so freaking good in everything as well. I like it so much better than the Quaker Old Fashioned. And they're cheaper. So we need two of these to last me the week. Because I do about a half a pound of oatmeal a day. Those are $1.69 a pop. So I need to pop. do 1.69 plus 1.69. It leaves us with about 
10 bucks for 10, 10 veggies? 10 bucks for veggies. They could probably do it. You better hope there's some sale veggies over there. So, I need 10 pounds exactly. I need 10.88 pounds to last me the week. This is a 10 pound bag for $4. <laughs> And then I'm gonna get one extra as well, just to make sure I get the week's worth. And that's gonna be another... Is it by the pound? Yeah, that's 99 cents a pound, so I'm gonna say... You weigh it. I'm gonna say 450. I just cleared it out. You screwed? <laughs> no. If I get this, it's exactly fifty dollars. If you go get, I can't get lettuce or anything. What if you go get frozen broccoli? Is it cheaper? Maybe. Should we go check? I don't know if it's cheaper to get the actual stocks over here. Well, it's hard to tell because it weighs the whole thing. This one's a dollar seventy-nine. Get that one right here. Yeah, you gotta go weigh it. Is that what you need? Yeah. What do you think? I <laughs> think you're gonna go over. Let's see if you get under 50. The broccoli's determining it. Nah. <laughs> 30 cents over. <laughs> the bread. You just smashed it. Still got some uh, tank tops left. Woman's. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna go get this guy your basket. $10. Here you go. Thanks. Close the doors. We finished step one. We're gonna go home and cook it all now, and I'll show you guys the meals I make. Is that it? Yep. It's not very much stuff for 50 bucks. Oh. Alright, so we got everything laid out right here. There is a few things that I wanted to bring up. The first thing is peanut butter. I do use peanut butter every single day as part of my bulk, but I use such a limited amount. Uh, this tub right here cost me like 5 bucks and it's 42 days worth, so I didn't want to calculate this. I didn't want to buy a whole tub of peanut butter just because I feel like the amount I use every single week is not going to equate to a whole lot. Second thing that I didn't get that I use every day is almond milk. This almond milk was two bucks, I think even maybe a dollar sixty nine, and this will last me about two weeks. So uh, I didn't, I didn't need to get a new container today as well. And protein powders. So what about protein that? powders? That's another thing. Yeah, um, I'm not sponsored, so these did cost me money, but I use half a serving of each. And this has 25 servings, so this was like 18 bucks, and I think this is almost two months worth right here. So maybe five dollars extra a week as well so so you think maybe with those added things it would come out to like 50 60 dollars a week 60 dollars yeah. a week yeah but i did pretty good 50 50 dollars and 30 cents we're gonna break it down into meals right now so i already ate two of my five meals this morning i don't know if i'm gonna come around tomorrow and film those meals for you guys then but i'm gonna cook three meals right now my three main meals and then i'm gonna eat them as well so the first meal that we're doing tonight is 99.1 ground turkey. This is just like chicken breast. Uh, it's actually 4.99 today, so it's really cool. I got three of these for a week. We're gonna do that with broccoli and rice. So right here, this is one meal. The second meal is actually gonna be the 93.7 ground turkey. I'm making a little turkey burger out of it. We're gonna do this with bread. The bread's gonna be used as the bun. Oh, and the potatoes, we forgot the potatoes. And then we're gonna be doing uh, just under a pound of potatoes in this meal right here as well. So like a burger and fries, essentially. Third meal we're doing tonight, super simple. Eggs, egg whites, and more potatoes. And then my other meals that I have, I'm not showing tonight, uh, a slice of bread, serving of peanut butter, uh, my oatmeal, which is going to be oats, protein powder, and almonds, which I didn't get almonds as well. 
this bag lasts me like two months. Almonds are also expensive though. Is that something people could probably cut out or no? You know, yeah, you can like, honestly, if almonds are expensive, so if you, if you needed more fats, you can do more oils, like maybe sprinkle some olive oil on. Get uh, another way to save some money is instead of getting lean meat, buy a bunch of the, uh, the ground turkey right here. It's way cheaper than the, the leaner kind. Or chicken. Is chicken more cost effective than turkey? If you get like the thighs and stuff. Or cheaper, frozen yeah. chicken, maybe. Yeah, so uh, I think that's everything. Hold on one second. So I go through 10.88 pounds of potatoes each week, 2.33 pounds of lean ground turkey, 2.64 pounds of extra lean ground turkey. I go through 1.55 pounds of uncooked rice, 28 eggs, 3.5 pounds of egg whites, about a bag of broccoli, which obviously I don't track this, so it's not needed in bulking, but I always recommend having veggies for more micronutrients, uh, better fiber intake and stuff like that. I wrote sparkling water down, but that's not a necessity. I did buy it, but not in the 50. Uh, about three pounds of oatmeal a week, 21 slices of bread, a very small amount of peanut butter, onion is not a necessity, so I didn't buy it, but I do like to add it to my eggs. Uh, lettuce, I like to make salads, but it's not a necessity, and that's pretty much it. Like I said, this is on a 3,400 calorie diet as well, so let's stop talking now and let's start cooking. everything up for you guys and I poured everything out proportioned it I'm only gonna be cooking one meal today or one meal for each um. hot potato it scared the shit out of me hot why are you touching them because I don't got time okay what were you saying um you're I cooking one of each meal I'm cooking one of each meal I know Zach cooked like for the entire week but I don't want to waste food so here's what we got. We got 700 grams of potatoes. Are you missing one? Oh, you got the other one. Never mind, you got it. Am I? It was on the ground, yeah. so well. five second rule here. What I'm gonna do first, this is gonna be part of the eggs and the turkey burger, but I'm just gonna cook it all at once to make it easier. I got the foil. First thing you wanna do, preheat the oven. I'm not gonna give you a specific number. I have mine at 400, but every oven's different. Best stuff, if you guys want our Obviously want to save a little more, don't get the spray, just get regular olive oil. Just coat the bottom. It's non-stick foil anyways, but... Makes it more crispy. Yeah, oil makes them more crispy. So we're gonna cut these in the fry shapes. I actually microwave these. That's a trick right there. It saves you a lot of time if you like kind of... Want to hurry and eat your food? <laughs> yeah, if you're like in a rush because it already has them pretty much cooked. So the only thing you're doing in the oven with these is just crisping them up. If not, it takes like 45 minutes to cook potatoes yeah, in the oven. Yeah, it takes a long time. So we're going to do this with all of them. I like to flip them all on their back so the skin's touching the, the foil. And then you just go over it again, like that. And that's what's gonna make them crisp up. Now for seasoning, I'm pretty basic. I don't like salt, I have never I never grew up with salt on my food. Uh, a little bit of garlic powder, not garlic salt. Garlic salt actually is not a bad, not a bad choice if you guys wanna do that. And then pepper. And these take the longest, so we're actually just gonna throw these in the oven right now. We're gonna move on to the second pan right here, which is the veggies. I love veggies, they fill me up. So that is usually the amount I do every single day. To get them to cook a little faster, I like to chop them up in pretty small pieces. We got asparagus in here as well. The only reason why I ever do asparagus is if I have something coming up where I'm trying to lose a little bit of water weight. Tomorrow, for example, I have a casting. So I am doing a little bit of asparagus. Asparagus is, is expensive though, so if you guys are on a budget, just get the basic broccoli, green beans is cheap too. Same thing over here, just a light little spray of, uh, of this. Olive oil. If you do it for a quarter second, like max tuning, no calories, so you gotta go. <laughs> no calories. And the same thing, pepper and garlic powder. 
Oh, it's a like deluxe that. sprinkle. Yeah, you gotta do two at once. And now we're letting those cook. Second step is rice. Now, I don't have a rice cooker. Or do we? We don't have a rice no, cooker. No, we don't. <laughs> so this actually is the probably out of everything I cook, this is the biggest pain in the ass. Why don't we just buy a rice cooker? Aren't they super cheap on yeah, Amazon? Yeah, we should probably just buy a rice cooker. Because this takes a long time and then you have to like scrape the bottom of the pan. Now we're moving on to the meat. We got four eggs, three servings of egg whites. This is my go-to, my favorite protein source right here. We're gonna just stir these up. And the first thing we're gonna do is the regular chicken. Chicken. Regular uh, turkey burger, right, regular. This, the first thing we're gonna do is the 99.1. With this, you can do a little bit just so it doesn't stick. Just because this doesn't have a lot of fat in it. With this, there's enough fat where you don't need to spray the pan because there's uh, the natural fat oil. So yeah, it's more natural. So we're gonna do that. And for the chicken or for the meats, we're using the seasoning that Eki left at the house, which is today. He left like four seasonings, but smokehouse maple. Also, thank you to either Eki or Dean for ruining this pan that used to be mine that I now cannot cook with because. I'm not exactly sure what happened to it. I had to go buy a new pan, so. That was. You guys owe me $25. That was the that was the barbecue with the boys day. We filmed that day. Do they watch your videos? Probably not. They both do, but I don't know if they're gonna make it this far. Okay, well, they better Venmo me my $25. I'll put the link in the comments. I literally just said don't spray, spray it, your pans. and you did. Out of habit. Although you should spray your pans because it makes everything not stick. Well, I mean, that's what I'm saying with this, you don't need to spray it. I sprayed it, but you don't need to spray it. I don't know why I did, I wasn't paying attention. So that is the turkey burger. You gotta season it. Seasoning with the same thing. I know I didn't buy these today, but I usually like to make an omelet. So, that's an omelet. Have a look at these. No? You can go a little bit longer. But Please don't catch the towel on fire. These look done. Nice and crispy. I mean, for the sake of the video, these can probably go another five minutes. They are pretty soft. So uh, we're just going to eat these as is. Some of them got crispy. Yeah, generally you want it like, like this. Like that's so crispy. Gross. Mm -hmm. So this is it guys. This is three of my five meals. The other two meals, I'm gonna put pictures on the screen right now with the, the recipe and then the macro breakdown for those as well. But like I said, 3,400 calories. $50, $55 for the week, which is about $220 for the month at 3,400 calories. That's pretty good, guys. So I'm gonna run through the sauces I use. I do ketchup mustard on here. I do ketchup uh, for dipping in my french fries. I do ketchup on my eggs. That's very controversial. So I, <laughs> I should have said that. I love ketchup on my eggs. For my rice, uh, like I said before, I do this with my clients a lot, but I like to make it into a bowl, but I just wanted to lay it out for you guys a little bit better, so I did it on a plate today. My clients love this as well. We're going to do soy sauce. Is that low sodium soy sauce? It's low, low sodium soy sauce. No calories in this, guys, so I don't track this as well. And the eggs, we already went through that, and that's pretty much what it. I do salad have a dressing? salad here. I didn't buy any of the ingredients for this today because this is kind of like extra. I don't really need it. I just enjoy salad. I have half of my uh, turkey breast here. The other half's in the salad with light Italian dressing, a little bit of uh, tortilla strips as well. And uh, that's pretty much going to wrap up the video, guys. I do like sparkling water as well. It helps my appetite, fills up my stomach when I'm fasting in the mornings. Since I'm not in a huge surplus right now, 
Uh, I still do get relatively hungry throughout the day, so if to answer your question, yes, I still am fasting. If you guys are wondering that, I fast till about 12 o'clock. I wake up generally between like 6 and 7.30. You do have coffee in the morning though, which helps suppresses your appetite. Helps suppress your appetite. If I, if I work out in the morning, I'll have pre-workout. If I work out in the evening, I'll have coffee in the morning. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys are interested in working with me, I pretty much do the exact same thing here. I do it for clients as well. I take all the guesswork out of dieting. So if you guys have a busy lifestyle, you guys don't have to worry about anything about tracking. I make it for you. If you guys are interested in working with me, uh, doing a custom meal plan or workout plan, be sure to check the link in the description down below for my website. I enjoyed making this video. It was a lot of fun today. Hopefully you guys can take some solid information away from this. Drop a, link, or drop a comment if you guys have any questions about it. And like I said, I'd love to work with some of you guys. So uh, check out my website and let's do it. Thanks for filming. Huh? This is what she did. <laughs> this is our advanced lighting setup.